All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use KOWP and Tasker to show your music player that you have made in KOWP, and it will only show when you have an audio headset connected. Um, a quick video I'm getting ready to show here. Basically, I have no audio headset is connected, so the music player is hidden, and we're going to see how this how this will change uh, based on you know once we connect the audio device. So let's go ahead and have a view of this uh, video clip. So no audio headset is connected, but when I cut on my Bluetooth, that's the first thing I want to do here, and give it a second to connect, and it will show a music player down here, and you'll see the words change up here as well. So now we do have one, and the music player is showing. Well, if we cut off the Bluetooth headset, it's going to disconnect, and everything will go away. So now you can see that it's hidden. We can also plug in a headphone or headset into the headphone jack. Notice it shows. If we disconnect it, it will go away. But not only that, but we can make this uh, set this up correctly in Tasker such that if we have both connected. So for example here, I'm getting ready to cut the Bluetooth back on. The music player is going to show. And we can connect a headphone jack in here, and it's going to continue to show. You might say, well, it should. And that's exactly right. But let's see what happens here. So I have them both connected. Nothing should change because an audio headset is connected. Suppose we disconnect one of them. All right, so Bluetooth disconnected, but notice nothing's changing because an audio headset is still connected. But once I disconnect it, now the music player will go away. And I want to show you how to do this in Tasker, and then I'll show you the quick thing with KOWP as well. So let's go ahead and have a look. What we want to do first of all is go into Tasker. And I guess probably the first thing we can do is create our task. There's going to be two, no, three tasks that we want to create here. We want to do an audio in, audio out, and a wait. Audio in is when a uh, device is going to be connected. Audio out is when no audio devices are connected. And a wait is something we're going to use to uh, set up our profiles. So inside of audio in, Basically, I don't know if you could read that on the video I showed a minute ago, but basically when we have a device connected, I want to do a KOWP send variable, and all you do there is you go to plus, you tap on plug in, and you tap on custom or that one right there, and that will get you uh, that piece. So once you do that, we can go and change the configuration. You can call the tasker string, basically, uh, audio in, I called it connected. And the custom variable is music. We want to use this same name for our other task right here in a moment. So that's all we have to do there for that part. Now this right here is optional, but if you go down here, go to plus, and if you type in flash, basically it's just going to flash something across the screen letting you know that this task is being run. So you can tap on that if you like, and then when you do that, you can actually edit what it's going to be. So right here I have flash and I just said okay audio device connected. Alright, that's audio in, audio out is very similar except now for our KOWP send variable we're sending the same custom variable name but now instead of it being connected it's disconnected because this is audio out. So basically we're um, taking out audio, all of our audio devices. And now we can uh, apply a flash here too, just to let us know that the audio device is now disconnected. So those are two tasks. And then a real quick task here called wait. Basically, you just go and add something into this task. Type in wait, W-A-I-T. Tap on that one right there. And then when you do that, you can just tell it to wait a very short time. I just uh, did, what, five milliseconds or whatever. Now, that's your three tasks that you need. Now we need to create three profiles. The reason why we got to create three profiles, we need one for when we have our plugged headset, we need a profile for when we have a Bluetooth headset, and then we ha need to have something where actually these two profiles are kind of running in the background, we don't even really worry about them too much. This is the one that controls it, so this right here will uh, make sure that we are still running the correct task, whether we have one headset, both headsets, or no headsets connected. I hope that makes sense. Now let me show you the first profile. So and you go to plus, you add a profile, and it needs to be a state. Okay? So when we go to state, um, let's do the plugged in headset first. So I'm going to type in uh, head, and then look, headset plug, boom. And you can do any. And when you do that, it's going to automatically add that. That's the one it just added here. And then what you want to do for this one, it's going to ask for a task. We want to choose 
weight. Now this right here, I've already created the plugged headset KLWP, so I'm going to delete this one, but make sure make sure you name these something very similar, and I'll explain why in a second. So I'm going to delete this. That's the one I just created, but as you can see, I already have one up here that I call plugged headset KLWP, and it's basically that state where any headset's plugged in, and I want to go to uh, weight. That's that task that I'm applying to that. Do the same thing for this one here, except now when you go to add that one, I'm gonna go to state, and I'm gonna type in BT, and I'm looking for Bluetooth connected, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure you pick the right Bluetooth headset. So over here on your magnifying glass, or your search, whatever you wanna call it, uh, make sure you have at least connected your headset at some point in time to your cell phone, that way it can find it. So there's my headset there, tapping on that, and then I go to the search, and I do this, I, I mean, you don't have to do this, but I guess it's good to have the name and the address. I, I don't know, it works for me. So once we do that there, it's gonna ask for a task that we want to assign to that profile. We also want to pick weight for that one as well. So basically, rename this one, and the way you can rename it is holding down, tapping A. And you want to, here's what I recommend doing. I'm going to delete that one as well, but notice both of these profiles that I have with the weight on it, both of these right here, I have the word headset in them. And none of my other profiles have the word headset. Um, as a matter of fact, they both got KOWP in it, and none of, none of my other profiles have KOWP in it. The reason why I want to say that is because what we want to do down here for this connected or not, we want to go to, so here's how we do this one. We're going to go to plus, we're going to go to state, and we're going to type in, well actually you don't have to type in anything, go to variable and variable value. And what you want to do here for this one is you want to type in P active. And basically this is going to be looking for uh, anything, uh, any active profile. That's what that stands for. That's an automatic thing built into Tasker and you want to do matches. And then the value, what you want to do here is as long as you have a word that matches in those two profiles we just created, such as KLWP, or I did headset on my other one, and put your little asterisks on both sides of it, boom, we're good there, and then pick the task that you want it to run. This is where we're going to do the audio in and the audio out. So you're going to do audio in for one piece, hold down on that, go to add exit task, and pick audio out. By us doing this, it's going. This profile here will run if either one of these, uh, no, if either one of these here are running. Because let me go delete this because, like I said, I've already created this. I was just showing you how to create it on your own. Come on. All right. So this is the one I created. I call it. I called it connected or not. But basically, it's that same thing I was talking about. Notice I used asterisks with headset. So basically, it's going to search through. And if any active profile, if, if any profile is active that has the word headset in it, it's going to run this task, audio in, which is going to send that custom uh, variable that we called music. And we had it named as connected. Or we, we send the, the variable name. You remember what I did a minute ago. But we called it music, and it had that string as connected. Whereas if neither one of if there is no active profile that has the word headset in, basically if both of these things are unplugged, it's going to do audio out, which is going to trigger the disconnect to KLWP. So I hope that makes sense there. Three tasks, three profiles, we're good with all of that. Now how do we get this stuff to work in KLWP? Well, let's go in there and have a look now. So basically what I have here is um, some music piece that you can't even see. I have some text items that's just there for demonstration purposes as you saw at the beginning of the video. But basically this music thing, whatever music component or whatever you have, make sure you have it in some type of overlap group. That way you can apply. Actually, you don't even have to have it in an overlap group. You can just have it as a regular component. But um, here we go. Here's our component. Inside of this overlap group, go to animation. And I have it doing two things. I have it fading out and scaling out. And basically, okay, fade out, go to, I'm um, adding a formula. And basically, I'm saying, okay, when do I want this thing to fade out? If BR Tasker, comma, music. If you remember a moment ago, let me go back to Tasker real quick. And let me go into one of those tasks. Either audio in or audio out. Remember how we called it uh, 
music and we gave it two strings, either connected or disconnected, that's what I'm talking about. So it's broadcasting in Tasker for this variable that we called music and it's going to look at this value here. And the two names that we gave it were connected and then also for audio out, just from uh, refreshing your memory here, same it's got the same custom variable name, but we called it disconnected. And that's when we have all devices unplugged based on how we set up our profiles. So if I go back into KOWP real quick again, remembering all that stuff I just said, notice if BR Tasker comma music is disconnected, I want the animation to move forward. Otherwise, or basically if it's not disconnected, I want it to uh, come back. And what type of animation do I have? for it to move forward if it's disconnected. Well, if the music's disconnected, I want it to fade out. And then also, if we go to scale out, notice I have the same code, because I want it to scale out if it's disconnected. So it's fading out and it's scaling out at the same time whenever this uh, variable that we created over in Tasker is going to become disconnected. So I hope that makes sense there. Um, and I think that is it, yeah. Uh, this stuff up here, you know, that's just text items. Um, how did I get this to code changing? Well, basically, I'm doing pretty much the same thing. For this stuff that you see right here in red, animation, I want it to fade in. Okay, yeah. I want this to fade in. I want it to show the red stuff saying that there's no audio device. So basically, if that variable is disconnected, I want it to fade in. Does that make sense? Basically, if there's no devices plugged in, I want this right here to show. So that's why it's fading in. Whereas this one right here, the green stuff, which we don't see, but you did see a moment ago where I had, I think, the word and, and it said showing. If I go over to animation for this one, I want it to fade in if that task or variable that we created is equal to connected. Remember how we had two strings? We had connected and disconnected. But um, that's all the coding that we need there. Uh, let me see, yeah, backing all that out of this stuff. And now, you know, you can't see me do this, but I'm just going to plug in a headset. So I'm plugging in my headset just so you can see the actual flash across the bottom that's coming from Tasker as well. So headset's plugged in, boom, audio device connected, remember that? And I notice it did change the words up here. Now I'm getting ready to pull it. There's the flash, there it is going away, and there's the KOWP stuff ha happening as well. I could definitely do this again with my Bluetooth headset, but I'm not going to bore you with that because I've already showed you that video. And there you have it. That's how you can show your music player in KOWP uh, whenever you connect an audio device using Tasker. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.